Everyone, thanks for hopping on at 8.30, getting ready for maybe a little pre-church uh, devotion here. Hopefully you're excited about what God's going to do in your life today at church. Um, if, if you're not planning on going to church, get on up and go. Um, it's better when you're there, better together. And then if you're, um, if you're not planning on going to church and uh, can't get anywhere, um, just pull it up online somewhere. I know you can watch our um, feed from our Hartzell campus. Um, all three times this morning, uh, so it'll be starting real soon um, on their Facebook page there. And there's lots of other churches you can watch. Church of the Highlands is great. Um, Life.Church, Elevation Church, some of my favorites. So check them all out um, if you're if you're not going to be at church this morning. But being there is always better. we got a good one uh, today. Hashtag Think Next. Give everybody just a second to get on. Um, good morning, Sonny Givens. Glad to have you. Katie, good morning. Jason, good Good morning, Gail, Angie, Glenny, Beth, and Shawnee. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So glad to have y'all. We'll get started here in just a second. Um, we are, I'm going to read you one of the saddest verses in the Bible today. And um, getting ready for a great morning. Terry, good morning. Tell Curtis I said, hey, look forward to seeing y'all in just a little bit. Mom, hey, my mom's on here. Good morning, Mom. Y'all can all say good morning to my mom, Tanya Pettit. Let her know she's awesome for being my mom. <laughs> Andrea, yep, 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 rocking the serve shirt. We got our serve day coming up. Um, we'll actually be joining with people uh, all over the, uh, the world doing serve day on July 15th, so we're excited about that. Um, so I'm rocking it as kind of an advertisement, a little subliminal messaging going on here. All right, if you got your Bibles, um, we are going to see if I can find it. It's not pulling up on my iPad, which is no bueno. Uh, 2 Kings, I believe, chapter 20. Yeah. All right. 2 Kings, chapter 20, all the way down to verse um, 19. All right, and here's what happens. So Hezekiah, um, if you're ready, give me some thumbs up and we'll get started. <laughs> um, all right, so Hezekiah has, um, is, has, he's a great king. And here's what you need to get. He's a godly king, one of the most godly in all of Judah's history. Thanks for all the amazing thumbs up, y'all. Um, so you need to get this. He's a good guy. And um, some, some envoys come from the king of Babylon, and uh, Hezekiah shows them everything. I mean, he's successful. He shows them all the gold in the temple and in his house and, and all these great successes. And then Isaiah shows up and says, what all did you show him? And uh, he says, oh, I showed him everything. There wasn't anything I didn't show him. And uh, Isaiah says, there, there's coming a day. He prophesies, there's coming a day when they will take everything in your house and everything in this temple, and they're going to destroy everything. Um, but, but he says, because you've loved the Lord, it won't happen in your day. It'll happen in, in you know, the days of your ancestors. Yeah. And so, um, here's, here's kind of the verse. Um, and it's so sad. Then Hezekiah said to Isaiah, this message you have given me for the Lord is good. Uh, from the Lord is good. It's good. Yeah. Well, for the king was thinking at least there will be peace and security during my lifetime. Think next. Hezekiah wasn't thinking about the next generation. He wasn't concerned. And, and here's the reality. I, I told you to remember that he's a great guy because that's where many of us are as believers. We're focused on our goodness. We're focused on living a pure and holy life. We're focused on seeking the Lord. We're focused on um, you know, going to church and being good and being all those things. And there's nothing wrong with that. We should seek the Lord. We should go to church. We should grow and try to be better people. Um, but we should have an eye for the next generation. We should have an eye for what God wants to do in, in the people who are 10 years younger than us and the people who are 20 years younger than us and the people who are 30 or 40 or, you know, uh, however much younger we want to think, God, what are you going to do in the next generation? I want to think next. Um, that's why I applaud all those that serve in children's church or with youth. Uh, why? Because next matters. What happens next matters. We can't stand back and say, well, I lived a good life. God took care of me. Well, that's up to them whether they want to follow God or not. No, my friend, we got to think next. We got to be thinking, what 
am I doing today? What am I doing today that's going to set up the next generation for success in the Lord? And uh, if you're not thinking next, you need to start today. Um, you don't want to be like Hezekiah who, who hears a terrible word about the future generations and thinks, well, that's on them. You know, I did my part. Uh, no, my friend. Um, it, it is our job to set them up for success. Uh, like Jesus set the disciples up for success, and like he set the next generation, like they set the next generation up for success, uh, and it kind of goes on and on. Don't be the break in the link. Don't be the, the one who focuses on himself and not on what God wants to do in the next. Come on, somebody, think next. Um, so I'm going to pray for you today. That's my challenge for you today. Look for somebody younger than you, encourage them, uh, pray for them, believe in them, and think next. Ask God, what can you do in your life to help this next generation move forward? Come on, somebody. Um, I'll post a, a worship video, or, or somebody else can post a worship video um, if you want to post a link to that, because I want you to spend a little bit of time. I know you're rushing and busy and getting to work, but take a moment and say, God, I want to worship you pre-worship before worship starts at church. I want to give my heart to you. Come on, somebody. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all those watching. I pray for, um, uh, and if you have prayer requests, drop them in, and we'll get to them for sure. Um, even if I have to pray for them afterwards. But Father, I pray for all those who are watching. Um, and if you're not watching live, if you're watching later, you can still put a prayer request in and we will pray for it. Uh, but I pray for those who have cancer, Lord, who are battling cancer, Lord, for Cedric, for uh, Mama, for Greg, for um, Miss B, for Cindy, God, that you would just bring healing, um, breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Uh, and Lord, I pray for everybody watching this that we would think next, God, that we would not sit back and let the next generation perish, Lord, but we would fight for them in prayer, fight for them in encouragement, fight for them with everything in our lives, God, and set them up for success and to be world changers because, Lord, we are world changers and we want to pass that on in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, you are a world changer. You may think, uh, what does this next generation need from me or want from me that I'm not cool enough for them? Uh, get over that, all right? Um, you're not cool enough to not pour out into the next generation. Come on, somebody. And so um, believe in them. Love you guys. Have a good time at church this morning. You can comment. Let me know what you're excited about experiencing at church or how it goes. And, uh, hey, go change the world. Pet it out.